Hi guys and welcome to the DataDice YouTube channel. Today we will take the next step in our SQL journey in BigQuery and we will cover the WHERE statement. The WHERE statement is important for filtering certain rows in your data. So we will cover certain use cases where you can use the WHERE, which statements are important and so on. So let's go into BigQuery. The WHERE statement is a bit more complex and maybe we will even do a second part of it somewhere later. But let's take a look into the first kinds of things you can do with the WHERE statement. So the first one, as you know, I will just quickly copy without the WHERE statement so that we have just an idea of that um, example we already took in the last video where we t took a look inside the order by statement. We will also use it in that video. Now let's quickly see what we have. So we have different start station names or station names because here we are in station info and then the capacity. So it's not really ordered as it looks like. So that's the whole idea behind it. And now we can add after the firm, we can add the where clause. Where, and now we have capacity greater than 15. So it's already run it. And I think you get quite immediately an idea of what it means. So we are now just showing the rows. So where, always select which rows we are showing select separates the uh, the columns we want to show. So where capacity greater than 15 means we have station names where just uh, where the capacity is over 15. That's the whole magic behind. So now we decreased our rows. Now we just have 390 rows. So all the stations where we have zero capacity, we are, do not show. How we can improve that? By typing order by two or by capacity. It's both the same as I showed in the last video. So if you're not sure about that, please take a look into the last video. Uh, yes, so now we see that the first station started with capacity 60. So that's it, and then it goes up the next stations with the higher capacity. So what else we can do? We can, for example, filter for different names. We can do name. So that's now a string, a technical string, which means we can do, for example, equals and then I copy now the a name that we have it for sure. And now order by capacity, name, whatever makes no difference. Why? Because at least it should be the case that we just have one row, which is the case. So now we search by, because there came maybe a request. Okay, can you quickly tell me how many, or what is the capacity of the Brady Street station? And by something like that, you can quickly find that out. So as I said, order by makes no sense because we have just one row. And with that kind of approach, you can also quickly check, okay, is that... Um, name maybe twice inside or three times inside, which I would not expect because we're talking about the bike share station info table where I would expect, okay, every station is just once inside. So every name is just once inside. But that you can check by something like that. Then you can do it even more complicated. So you can say, for example, I just over again copy it out. Where name equals, then you have the first one, or name equals the second one, or name equals the third one, or name equals the fourth one. So what does that mean? And now the order by makes sense again, at least when we have matches. So we see now, okay, so we have different names here with different capacities. We ordered it by the name. Um, yes, we can also order it by the capacity, then that station would come at first. And what you can do then, so now you say or, so it means even for every row, it's checking the WHERE clause. So even the name need to be that one, or it need to be that one, or it need to be that one, or the last one. What you can also do, and you don't break anything, is just when you say OR name equals, and then test street. So due to that, we know, okay, that street is not there, or that station is not there. We do not break anything. We have also not really an idea, okay, that street was not found, um, but we see, okay, as it looks like we just, we asked for five um, stations, we just find four, so one of them is not there, which is in that case the test suite. What you can also do, because that is maybe not the nicest way how to write this name or name or name and so on and so on. You can also do it way easier. You can take where name in, and with the in, you also can now set a list of, of stations so here you say, okay, if the name is that one, or if the name is that one, or if the name is that one, or the last one, then please put it also in the resulting table. And now you see we have the same result, maybe different um, ordered, but it's still the same. Now that's way more convenient in terms of writing this stuff. 
Yes, so then let's switch to the TIPS info. And just to the TIPS, not TIPS info, just TIPS. And let's take here, select star. And now we say we are start date. Now the big question is, okay, how do you say, okay, I want to have just the TIPS after a certain date. Like you do it for numbers, you just say higher than um, 2018 April 2020s, whatever. So something like that. And if it went through, we see here now, at least for the first ones, okay, it looks like that it started even because the start date has even the timestamp attached, even then it's working. So it recognizes, ah, okay, so the user, so BigQuery recognizes, okay, the user just wants to have the start dates after the 20th of April, 2018. I have even the record timestamp inside, but um, not important for us. I just need to check that the start date is after the 20th. To prove that, um, it's usually the easiest one to say all the way. Um, it would be three in that case. Um, so three or start date is the same because the start date is the third column. But I say start date. Descending make not much sense because then we need to go to the last page and then we see it or we're just doing it like that. And here you say, and that's interesting because it even shows the 20th of April 2018. Why? Because it's after 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 UTC. Because even if the start date is, even if it would be here 0, 0, 0 minutes, but first second, so even then it would show up because it's technically after the 20th of April. So that's already a special case, I would say. Yes, you could also do the th same thing for end date, um, but I think that is fine for now. And then you could say, okay, where start date is between, I could say now, okay, I want to have, for example, the whole, the whole April inside. So I could say for like that. And that's important. So the first parameter always needs to be the starting point, the 30s, something like that. And now execute that one. Then you also see, okay, yes. So we have the first one on, even as you see here, so on the eighth second after midnight. And when you go till the end, here you see, yes, we are here quite close before the 30s. So that is even always included that one not. And you need to be sure that you have the correct order because when you are making or when you just, oh, let's do it easy, then you will see that's not working at all. Why? Because it's checking, okay, the start date needs to be after 30th of April, but before the 1st of April, which makes no sense. So due to that, the order of the between statement is important. So just working for, in that example, like this, just important. Yes, so then let's switch to our order item data. So same kind of examples. So we have select order number, order created, custom ID, product key, and order bank. And when we have the results, we see, okay, we have different order numbers, different custom IDs, they order different product SKUs, as it looks like show, uh, BigQuery, the result based on the product SKU, at least in some way, and the order rank. What is, at least for us, usually the order rank? The order rank means, okay, when the same customer did a purchase, then the order rank, so the first order of that customer has a one, the second order has a set two, and so on and so on. Due to that, we have the same order uh, due to that we are on order item level, it could be that the order rank for a different custom ID and the same order number is twice or even more inside because the order contains different products. That could be. But yes, just as a quick um, example. Now then we could say, okay, so please, um, I would just like, because there's any kind of investigation we need to do, I know a custom ID where we need to take a look inside the, the data. So I can say where custom ID equals like that. Yes. Now I just see all the orders made from that customer. And you see here at least not ordered, but you see here a lot of different um, orders which are made. So it looks like five and two and so on this twice here inside because as you see the order number yeah, is the same, but it's different products um, included. So we can also defeat, quickly sort by order created at and then you also see what I created at. Yeah, so that the first order has also the one 
and then the next one has the two, three, four, five. So the fourth order, for example, just included one product. Due to that, we have that line just once inside. We also don't do here any kind of distinct. So and as you know, as you saw before already, we can do here order date between 2023. So I'm now also took out the filter for the customer. So we are now looking again at all customers, even at all um, rows. We are just selecting some dates we want to investigate. Yes, as you see, that looks like that's working. We have again, here we even have a T inside, which is again a little bit different. It's a date time. Not super important. What is the difference here? Maybe we'll explain that in a later video. Um, but for now, it's fine. It's just a different format, you can say, um, with some specialties in terms of time zones and so on, but not important for now. So now we have just all the data starting from 1st of February till the 28th of February. And now we can even do a weird one because what we can also do is we can say product quantity ordered equals or it's, um, bigger than or equals to 10. So greater or equals to 10. What does that mean? Because we have in our select statement, we do not have that column. So why can we filter for that? We can filter by that because we can say, okay, it always refers to the from. So it always takes all the data coming from the raw data, so from the from statement, and then, yeah, just selecting the column you need and adding the value you want to check. If that column is inside the select, so inside your final table, BigQuery doesn't care about that. Where it is more important is what you cannot do. You cannot do something like that. Okay, you can do. Um, you can even do it in the order by statement. So you could even say, okay, order by product quantity ordered. Yes, so now you are filtering for a column you don't have an idea of and you order by a column you don't have the idea of, which is not really usual because then your analysis get quite messy and you have no idea what's exactly happening. So I would always recommend by the column you are filtering or by the column you're ordering. Also show that in the final one, but for sure there can be use cases that you don't want to do that. So now you see, okay, so it starts even with the first product quantity ordered where it's 10 and then it goes up. So here we have already 12. And we don't have that much lines as you see. We have just 20 lines, which makes sense because not so many orders. A customer bought the same product in the same order more than 10 times or 10 times and more. So that's it. That was, I think, the first video about the where statement. I'm pretty sure we will make a second one because there's still some statement for the where clause, which are super important. For example, the like. Like operator is quite important. I think that one we will cover in one of the next videos. So stay tuned for a second part of all the different cases of the where statement. And if you want to follow us so you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can check out Medium where we publish a lot of blog posts, we have LinkedIn and so on and so on. So stay tuned, follow us and checking out the next videos.